NASA's Hubble Space Telescope was able to accurately measure the mass of the oldest known planet in our Milky Way galaxy. The old planet has had a remarkable history because it is in an unlikely harsh neighborhood. What neighborhood is that? And how could scientists measure such an old planet? You can find out here. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. PSR B1620 26b is a pulsar planet orbiting the pulsar PSR B1620 26 in the globular cluster Messier 4. It is located about 12,400 light years away in the constellation Scorpio. In addition, the exoplanet is the oldest existing and known exoplanet because it is assumed to be 12.7 billion years old. With an estimated age of 13 billion years, the planet is more than twice as old as the Earth at 4.5 billion years. Almost 1 billion years after the birth of our universe in the Big Bang, it emerged from a young, sun-like star. What's interesting about this planet, it orbits a strange pair of burned-out stars in the crowded core of a cluster of more than 100,000 stars. How do you know that this star is a planet? Long before our Sun and the Earth even existed, a planet the size of Jupiter formed a star that had similarities to our Sun. Today, 13 billion years later, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has accurately measured the mass of this most distant and oldest known planet. Hubble's analysis shows that the object has 2.5 times the mass of Jupiter, which confirms that it is in fact a planet. Its very existence provides compelling evidence that the first planets were formed rapidly within a billion years of the Big Bang, leading astronomers to conclude that there could be many planets in our galaxy. The old planet has had a remarkable history because it landed in an unlikely harsh neighborhood. It orbits a strange pair of burned out stars in the crowded core of a globular cluster. So what's the story? The story of the discovery of the planet. The story of the discovery of this planet began in 1988 when the pulsar, called PSR B1620-26, was discovered in M4 by astronomers led by Donald Backer. It is a neutron star that rotates about 100 times per second and emits regular radio pulses like a lighthouse beam. The white dwarf was quickly discovered because of its effect on the clock-like pulsar, as the two stars orbit each other twice a year. Sometime later, astronomers noticed further irregularities in the pulsar, indicating that a third project was orbiting the others. This new project was thought to be a planet, but they also speculated on a brown dwarf or a solid-state star. The debate about its true identity continued into the 1990s. The debate was ended when astronomers were finally able to measure the planet's true mass through ingenious celestial detective work. They had so-called Hubble data from the mid-1990s, which they took with them to study white dwarfs in M4. When they filtered these observations, they were able to track down the white dwarf orbiting the pulsar and measure its color and temperature. Using evolutionary models calculated by Brad Hansen at the University of California, Los Angeles, astronomers estimated the mass of the white dwarf. The white dwarf and the planet. As the planet passed a double star system with an old neutron star and a white dwarf, the gravitational forces of both systems contracted into a network of confused orbits. Soon, the white dwarf was thrown out of its original position and ejected into space by the more massive planet. Meanwhile, the planet was thrown into a circumbian orbit, a large orbit orbiting both its original star and the neutron star. The new system of the planet, its sun, and the neutron star have therefore suffered a so-called gravitational recoil by the ejected white dwarf. This gravitational recoil sent the new double star system out of the core of the globular cluster into a less dense region of the cluster, reducing the chance of further stellar interaction of this magnitude. The development to the red giant. At its new position in the globular cluster, the planet slowly pulled a long orbit around the neutron star 
and its predecessor star at a distance of about 2 billion miles, similar to the orbit of Uranus around our Sun. From this vantage point, the planet witnessed the death of its predecessor star over the next billion years as the Sun-like star evolved into a red giant, giving off matter to the neutron star. The mass acquisition of the neutron star caused it to rotate faster and faster around its axis, and finally it turned into a pulsar. Now the neutron star completes almost 100 revolutions per second around its axis. To illustrate, this is 10 times faster than a hummingbird can beat its wings. As soon as all the excess gas left the star, it turned into a small, bright, white dwarf with a helium core. All this time, the planet remained in its extended orbit. This is the state that occurred less than a billion years ago, when astronomers discovered the planet. But how could researchers determine that this planet existed at all? Using the Hubble data, scientists used the color and temperature of the white dwarf to determine its age and mass, which they compared with the wobbling of the neutron star. In addition, radio studies of the pulsar showed irregularities in its signal that could not be caused by its companion star alone. Using this data, the scientists calculated the inclination of the white dwarf's orbit. From there, astronomers could determine the mass of the third body, which was too small for a brown dwarf or another star. In addition, the planet's orbit and its place in the globular cluster provides clues about its past. In order for the scenario to be logically comprehensible, the white dwarf must have lost its gaseous envelope after it and the planet entered the neutron star. Furthermore, the presence of the planet in a wide, almost circular orbit shows that the mass transfer from the predecessor star, today's white dwarf, to the neutron star, which rotates upward to a pulsar, took place after the planet was in orbit around the pair. Furthermore, stars that meet each other closely do not exist very often in the Milky Way. But in the compact core regions of globular clusters, this happens very often. Probably in the last 10 billion years, the neutron star has approached this system and captured the white dwarf. It is possible that the neutron star has lost an earlier satellite during this process. About half a billion years ago, the star captured by the neutron star was swollen to a red giant. It is assumed that at the time when the red giant was created, the companion star crossed the Roche boundary, which is why there was an exchange of materials. The exchange of materials ended when the surface layers of the star, which gave off mass, were exhausted. Slowly, the core shrank to the white dwarf. Since then, the two satellites have been orbiting each other. The long orbit also makes the star more vulnerable to the gravitational forces of stars that are in its vicinity. The continued presence of the planet suggests that the star system has been less dense since its formation. Since such a system would shrink back the state of a nucleus on a time scale of 1 billion years, and since it is known that the stellar system still exists, scientists can determine an age for the planet on the time scale for the current composition. PSR B1620-26b, or Methuselah. The designation PSR B1620-26b for the planet is not used in any scientific work. However, in the Simbad database, the planet is listed as PSR B1620-26b. Even if it is not officially recognized, the name Methuselah is often used for the planet. The name goes back to the biblical person Methuselah, who was the oldest person who ever lived in Christianity. This name is therefore used to make parallels with the planets of the solar system. Methuselah is also the only planet that bears a name from the Bible. It is amazing what science today can find out. Who would have thought that there are planets that are almost as old as the universe itself? And the most mysterious thing about it? We don't even know if there aren't more planets that have a similar age to Methuselah. But the probability, according to scientists, is high that Methuselah was not the last ancient planet discovered by astronomers. And who knows, maybe one day scientists will discover that there are other planets that are even older than Methuselah. Compared to the age of this planet, the Earth is just a breath of air, an unborn baby. What do you think? Do you also think that the discovery of the planet Methuselah illustrates once again how powerful and mysterious the universe is? Do you think it is possible that in the future other planets may be discovered that are possibly even older than Methuselah? 
Or do you think that astronomers have already found the oldest planet in our galaxy, Methuselah? Leave us a comment. We are curious about your ideas.